Hi, my name is Ishani Aramala, and I'm a student at Oak Ridge International School in Newton campus that is currently going into 11th grade IBDP. And I created an app called Sonic. Ever since I moved from California two years ago, I noticed a world of difference in terms of noise pollution levels. But it wasn't just me. One of my family members has misophonia, and having seen him suffer from traffic, construction, and loudspeaker-induced noise pollution, I decided that I needed to find a way to decrease noise pollution and its impacts on individuals like him. India is becoming urbanized at an increasingly fast rate, and along with this, the levels of noise pollution are increasing exponentially. Noise pollution has the capability of having many negative impacts on the human body. A study shows that 30% of the people living in an area exposed to noise pollution have frequent changes in their heart rate, blood pressure, and stress levels. Two out of three of the noisiest cities in the world are located in India. We know that sound pollution can have many detrimental impacts on the common man. But what about individuals with sound sensitivity problems? For individuals with autism, ADHD, and other neurological disorders with an accompaniment of misophonia, even the smallest noises can cause large problems. And the adverse impacts can be seen for days, weeks, and even months, therefore adding to their already existing suffering. Hyderabad is the third noisiest city in India, and in order to combat this situation, I created Sonic. Sonic is the first ever online connecting platform that allows users to report cases of sound pollution in their environment to the right authorities so action can be taken to resolve their complaint. Sonic is a free and user-friendly application that is available for download on the Play Store. What makes Sonic so special is that it has two differentiated pathways. In the normal pathway for normal individuals, they have to enter the source of the sound, the severity of the sound on a scale of 1 to 10, and their location in terms of locality and landmark. And this information is sent as an email notification to the right authorities, so then they can view it and act upon it. On the other hand, in the special needs pathway, all users have to do is enter the source of the sound, and because of the increased urgency, I implemented features like a location sensor, and I made it an SMS notification instead. It is time to start taking noise pollution seriously, and that is where my app Sonic comes in. Given below is a link to a demo of my app. Thank you.